In this presentation, we will add an account related to our credit card and enter the beginning balance for it. Let's have some fun with Sage 50 Cloud Accounting. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars file. We're currently in the Customer and Sales section. Let's think about our chart of accounts now. Our, our objective then, let's go to our beginning balances actually first. We're going to take a look at our beginning balance here beginning balances here and we have the credit cards if we scroll on down to the liabilities section we have a credit card that we owe of that 1000 so what we need to do then is see if we have an account for a credit card liability in the current system that would have been provided by the sage 50 when we set up the account if not then we'll add a new a new account for the credit card and we will add the beginning balance related to it with a journal entry so let's go ahead and uh, minimize this and then go to that objective. We're going to do the tasks, or I usually go to the lists. Let's go to the lists, kind of bouncing around here. List drop down, and then we're going to go down to the chart of accounts. Lists and then chart of accounts. This is going to be our chart of accounts. Now I'm going to be looking and say, hey, do we have a credit card type of account or something we can use basically for a credit card type of account? Recall that the chart of accounts will be in order, in order by type, assets, liabilities, equity, income, then expenses, and then broken down into further subcategories such as cash, accounts, receivable, inventory, other assets, fixed assets, other uh, current, uh, and then liabilities. So we're down here in the liabilities. So it's not going to be an accounts payable account. It's not the sales tax, no deductible payable, state taxes, all this payroll kind of stuff. No, 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 no. Don't see anything that's going to be for our credit card. So I'm going to have to set one up. So I'm going to set one up. I kind of want it to be close to the accounts payable here. So probably above the sales tax payable. So let's make it, um, let's make it uh, 20, 2290 or something like that. 2290. So all right, let's do that. So I'm going to say new account then. We're going to go up top, new account. Uh, 2290, 2290, 2290, 2290. You got to keep that, keep that in your mind. 2290. Actually, I could see it over here with this one, so that makes it easier. But I'm going to say then the account ID 2290, and uh, then I'm going to say tab, and the description. Let's make it credit card. Now that's obviously a very generic name. You might want the name of the credit card, like a Visa or, or Amex or something like, or a credit card dash visa and amex or something like that you may want the four last four digits of the account number on there remember that uh, your objective internally is to have something that you can jump to the financial statements or trial balance and check out as you enter data externally you want to be able to consolidate your reports and customize reports so that they're going to be useful for external users without the added data like a credit card type of information for that you may you know consolidate all the credit card accounts in your external reports for example as just one credit card liability account because they typically don't need to, to you know to know all the detail in it so anyways i'm going to make this basically for internal purposes right credit card there's the number i want to be able to jump back and forth to it easily once again we could be going to the beginning balance accounts uh, i'm not going to do that at at well let's do the the next thing would be to go to the cash drop down we don't want it to be cash we want it to be a liability type of account so we have it's not going to be an accounts payable not a receivable Cash, no, equity, expense accounts, invent, uh, inventory. It's going to be a liability account to so other current liability account. All the way at the bottom, other current liability account. Then you can think about the beginning balance. So you could hit this and set up the beginning balance. But again, I think it would be best for us to do the journal entry format for it. So what we'll do is we'll just do a journal entry into the beginning balance into this account with the use of that journal entry. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead and close this. Let's go ahead and look at it and make sure that it kind of shows up and where we would expect it to be, which is right there. So that's what I would expect. So that looks good. Now let's go ahead and add our journal entry. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to go back to our main Sage page. And then I'm going to go up to the uh, tasks, tasks up top. And we want to go down to the journal entry. So we want to journal, uh, the general journal entry. That's what we want. And then I'll make this large. We're going to make all of our beginning balance journal entries as of a 10120, uh, the beginning of the year. And this is going to be a credit to the liability account. Liabilities have a credit balance. They're going to go up with a credit. So the debit, if I want the debit on top, is going to have to go to the equity account, which is retained earnings. So I'm going to select the drop down or the magnifying glass, which has a drop down. And then we're going to go into the retained earnings. And there it is, the 3910. This, I'm going to say this is the description of the beginning balance. And then the amount, I believe, was 1000 
one to double check, even though I totally know I'm right on that. Pretty confident on this one. 1,000. Okay, that's the one. So I'm going to go back over here and say this is 1,000. And then the credit is going to be to the credit card account that we just set up. So let's hit that magnifying glass drop down. And we're looking for the uh, liability for the credit card. There it is. Account 2290. Beginning balance being the description. Credit 1,000. So we have the debit and the credit. Let's go ahead and save that and check it out on the trial balance or the uh, financial statements. So I'm going to say yes here. And then I'm going to close this. I didn't even read what it said, but I'm assuming it's a, it's a good thing and I'm okay. I think it's the wrong period or something or the current period. So we're okay. I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to go to the reports drop down. We're going to go down to the financial statements. We're going to go to the financial statements here. And then we're going to go into the balance sheet. So let's go into that balance sheet and double check the balance sheet. Let's make the dates uh, for the range. We want to see it in January. So then I'm going to open that up by saying OK. And then go on down to our liabilities. There's our credit card liability. Just as suspected, something happened just the way we planned it to happen. And so there it is, the 1000 If we double click on that, then it's going to be our journal entry. So there's our journal entry. So I'm going to close this back out. I'm going to close this back out. The other side, of course, being in the retained earnings. If we go into that retained earnings, there's all of our transactions in the retained earnings. So uh, our objective seems to be going smoothly. We're entering each of our beginning balances here. Not quite in the same order as they appear here, but we're entering all of our beginning balances. The other side going to the equity section. And once we're done with that, the equity section will be correct. So we will be printing the trial balance so you can check your numbers as you go whenever we remember to do so. And we'll also be creating backup files so if you wanted to jump to any kind of point within these um, practice problems, you can do so. That's going to be it for now. Let's get out of here.